because it's what's happening in the land each side of the river will decide what quality of water and what quality of habitat the river has. A lot of the rivers here have been have something called arterially drained because in the 60s and 70s the emphasis was on getting the water from the hills to the sea as quickly as it could. So they straight lined a lot of the rivers. And the river will always want to naturally wander back and forward. So once they, they drained it, they then built banks. So instead of getting the river, like the Falcon, who sits in a flat valley bottom, wandering back and forward across the valley, it's now captured and held in between banks, which is a very unnatural state for a river. So we're constantly losing gravel, which the salmon need for spawning, because it can't naturally uh, recruit gravel again by wandering back and forth across the plain. So there's no such thing as a natural waterway anymore. Every single waterway has been impacted either hugely or slightly by man and by what we do. So when you're looking at the river, try to think of the whole pattern. Okay? And, and everything in the river needs clean water, as we need clean air to breathe, somewhere to live and to grow, which is the habitat. And there need to be enough of them there to actually breed and to carry on the species. Those are the three things. I try to relate them how you would relate them where you live. You know, have you peace to live there? Have you somewhere to live and have you clean air and plenty of food? And what you need is what the fish need. And I have totally lost it. Um, have there been many pollution incidents in the for <coughs> years? There has. There have been a number of pollution incidences. Uh, years ago, and occasionally still, we used to get big chemical spills, which would have killed miles of river. Um, now we have things like uh, slurry spills and... Um, Slight enrichment is the biggest problem now. What happens is that mainly through agriculture with overuse of chemical fertilizers and um, spreading of slurry, the river is slowly getting enriched all the time, which means it's very slowly losing water quality. So you don't see this big dramatic thing. You just see this very slow build of, of uh, enrichment in the rivers which we don't want, which is more difficult to combat.